I think there was like maybe a about uh, five or six victories being what you consider a football coach or you consider to be successful right here on everybody's right hand wrist. It's a ball six fourteen. What what's that for? You guys all know what that's for, right? right. Name the Lucas Oil Oil Championship football game. Whatever it takes for us to get to that, that's what our, always our goals are is to get to that game because if you get to that game with the new concept of, of having this uh, bowl system with the four game, you're going to have a great chance of having an opportunity to play for a national championship. So our goals are always to be at Lucas Oil. So you're talking about the Sports Illustrated? Yeah, I, I, I don't know how that got quoted that way, but uh, it wasn't quoted the way that it should be, of course. Any coach wants to win and go for the I was awesome. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I love coaching, and I love being back with these players. They're good to work with. They work hard. get to go at first like a deco So uh, it was good, good practice today. The kids came back uh, ready and prepared. How did he look? How did he go? Well, not not great because he just got back. But uh, you know, he continually. Uh, you know, if you think about it, it's, it's only Tico's. Tico's getting to be a junior, but there's a lot of guys out here that are in their first uh, spring footballs that are playing for us. So it's pushing. It's it's making sure that they come back focused and ready. Uh, pretty good. I mean, again, being away from throwing to a receiver for a week, um, you know, that that's always a, uh, something that might not be as good. But they threw some good balls, and I think our receivers had – a couple of drops again that we've got to get straightened up, uh, and I think the percentage would have been real good. What would it be like out of a Gmail? Uh, work ethic, was first of all. Uh, I think he's come in and I think he works hard. I think he's grasped what we do offensively pretty fast. Uh, I'm glad he's here in January so he can grasp our offense. And he's that big target. I mean, he's the big guy that's out there, and when you get Tyron in here too, you're going to have two big guys to, to help join. Uh, uh, our, our wide receiver core that's not a real big wide receiver core. The young corners, Mosley and Dunlap, have those guys done what you thought well, they were doing? Well, Dunlap now? hasn't got to do everything for us because he's in right. the green. He had the shoulder surgery. Uh, so he hasn't been able to do the contact. But we get him in there a lot as a corner uh, because uh, other than scrimmage situations. So he's done, done a good job, but he's a little behind with mm-hmm. the surgery. Uh, I think Mosley's done a good job. Uh, by far, right now, uh, Caleb Day has had the best yeah. playing in the corners. Is it uh, hands fence. Has that been like one of the better things happen for the depth to come along for the cornerback? Uh, oh, it's been huge. Yeah. It's been huge. We've got guys. We've got a bunch of guys who can play that position. We've even, you know, uh, experimented with moving a couple to safety. Uh, you know, just if, if we have to, so uh, to put as much speed on the football field as we can. You guys view the secondary kind of like we always hear about the offensive line putting your five best out there. Could you do that with the secondary, yeah, or you just kind of de- you have to? Yeah. You have to put the best out there. Uh, you know, they've got to be physical. Um, I do think that our safeties have played better because they are. I mean, it's Zane Petty. This is his first spring. Right. If you think about it, so he is getting better. And you know, with Taylor Barton, you know, him being in his in his really his uh, third spring. But he didn't play as a true freshman, so he's playing better. Uh, uh, Clayton Fagellum, the walk-on, uh, has really impressed a lot of guys here with the way he's practiced. How hard is it to teach a guy corner and safety? Is it is not that not that hard? Uh, myself and Coach Banks meet together, right? So we have the, all the DBs in there now, and uh, you know I think that they've uh, really formed that bond. All four, all four of them playing at once yeah. to do a good job. Gotcha. Okay.